Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course on the Python programming language and the Django framework. And as always, a very warm welcome from me. In this session, we are going to deal with the domains and see which facilities we have over here. One of the options available here is add-on domain. In this section, you can add another domain to your host. It depends on how many more domains uh, the host can contain and can and the uh, version of the host that you have bought allows you to have. You need to be careful about the DNSs. The DNSs that the host has provided for you should be set on the domain. Here the name will be set and added and uh, your domain uh, will be set on the website just like we did with underline html where we could have the files on the first page deleted and made an index folder here also a new folder with the name of the domain will be made and then if you can access the files there by entering the name of that domain uh, so that for this part that is used for adding the domain the other section that we are going to deal with is the subdomain subdomain is this part of the site it is a very important part i have already explained to you how it works now using the name test we make a subdomain all right and now down here I have a subdomain called test.django learn.xyz and it has its own file manager it enters it by clicking on this address or I can go directly to the file manager and here uh, test.django learn xyz and the necessary files would be set for this subdomain and i can test it as well test dot django okay dot xyz django learn all right and as you see this is the page okay test.django learn but the main site the file and the index that we have said these are two different addresses and using any language that you have python or django you can have separate or create separate sites and set up different sites and the subdomains and the main ones